Hello, YouTube. I'm going to try something new, which is a little weekly update on what's going on at Dino. We'll, we'll see how, how well this goes and, and if we continue it. But uh, yeah, let me, let me know if this is, is uh, fun and useful for you. Dino 138 was released a few days ago, and with it came uh, Dino doc with HTML output. This is super nice. It outputs static HTML. And what's really great about it is that it has client-side search. Here's an example of STDFS module that showed the, the output here. And uh, of course, if you click any of the functions like ensure file, you will uh, get to the documentation for that. It all comes from JS doc, of course. And if you go into the cert and type copy, for example, you'll, you'll see all of the various documentations. Um, this search happens completely client-side and doesn't require an internet connection. The index is, is actually there in the client-side JavaScript, very much inspired by Rust doc. We'll, we'll be building on this. We've got plans around this uh, in, in future releases. So, so stay tuned for, for more uh, Dino documentation stuff coming. Dino 138 also has hot module reloading, which is kind of a improved watch capabilities. Right now, Dino has Dino run dash dash watch, which essentially watches all of the source code files in your project and reloads them on change. Hot module reloading is a more advanced version of that, where it also watches all of your source files. And when one of those changes actually sends kind of a diff, the updated source code down into V8 and uh, updates the program on the fly without restarting the server. So this is an unstable feature. You enable it with dash dash unstable HMR. And we will also be building on this, this in the future. But this allows for very fast uh, editing of code and experiencing the changes live. 138 has tons of other features. It, it was really one of our biggest releases yet. Faster JSX transforms is very apparent in fresh benchmark now. We now have support for uh, .m files built into Dino. We do support WebSockets over H2 in this release. For anybody who's building daemons with Dino, uh, you should be happy to know that Dino Serve now supports HEP over Unix sockets. And with the latest V8 upgrade, we now have support for Array from Async and Promise with Resolvers. Finally, uh, Dino KV, which uh, as a reminder is, is part of our Dino Deploy serverless system. System. It's a hosted KV database with, with a lot of really cool features. Dino KV, uh, the, the hosted system, is built on top of Foundation DB. It's this very robust, distributed, consistent database that uh, we are putting a lot of work into. It's tied directly into JavaScript and, and quite easy to, to kind of add application state to your programs, essentially like one line of code to, to kind of store and retrieve JavaScript objects. What we're releasing is, is three new features because the, the two features combine in, in kind of a nice way. Uh, one is, is that with the foundation DB hosted uh, version of, of Dino KV, we now support uh, backup to S3 or GCS, and this can be enabled in the Dino Deploy dashboard. But we're also uh, open sourcing a standalone Dino KV daemon, MIT licensed, and, and you're free to use this in perpetuity. Uh, it is built using uh, a SQLite backend, so not not built on top of Foundation DB. But this this thing can be used to uh, self-host your your own uh, Dino KV database uh, outside of any of Dino's uh, infrastructure. So you could host this on Fly IO, uh, and we we provide a little Docker container for you to run. What's really cool is that you can combine these two features, where you can essentially create a read replica of your hosted foundation db database by syncing it with with uh with s3 and then and then replicating out to to one of these uh open source daemons that that, that we're releasing so that's it for uh this this update really quick hopefully you found that useful and yeah maybe i'll see you in the next one <laughs>